just an introduction to open intelligence. What is open intelligence? Okay, so we can do it now. If you stop thinking for a moment, notice what remains. What remains when you stop thinking? It can be very short. It doesn't have to be a long pause. But see that you can. Stop thinking and recognize what is at the basis of everything. There is alertness, openness, cognizant, the power to know. The power to know that you stop thinking, but the power to know maybe that you start thinking too, right? Because thoughts are coming back now. <laughs> Good. And then everything that appears in open intelligence, it's inseparable from open intelligence too. So whether you stop thinking and you start thinking, open intelligence is always present. It's, it's within us. It's natural for all of us. It's not something that we get and suddenly we have it. But it's something that we can definitely can recognize. And so that's just the introduction. The practice is not to stop thinking. Okay, so you can relax here. You've been already introduced. You know what open intelligence means. And I will elaborate more so you can see in your experience also how it can relate to you. Open intelligence is everything. It's, it's the power to know. It's the power to know that what we're thinking, what we're feeling. It's what looking through your eyes. Okay, it's what listening to these words, what sensing that we're sitting here. It's there whether you thinking or not, whether you have positive thoughts or very bad thoughts, can be also right now <laughs> some of them. Okay, and then all of this we call it data. This I mean um, thoughts, emotions, sensations, experiences, people, places, things memories, past, present, future, everything. We just simplify it and we call it data. And data appear in open intelligence, but also inseparable from open intelligence. Don't think about it. You will recognize it. Just, just like by your openness. And what we offer in Balance View is the instinctive recognition of open intelligence. <coughs> so you don't have to believe anything that you, we are saying. See it for yourself. And we invite everyone to practice the practice called short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous, spontaneous. And what does it mean? Whenever you remember to do it, and even right now, maybe you woke up so moody today. <laughs> By the way, Happy New Year, I forgot to say. <laughs> but you know, maybe we woke up and we say, okay, it's a new year, and we feel like really bad about the new year. We don't feel like we changed so much. We don't feel it's going to be a nice year. Or maybe we feel, wow, we made it. it. It is a wonderful year and it will be so good. But, you know, each one of us is so unique with our thoughts and feelings. Maybe it's also, it doesn't really bother us to think about the new year. But, okay, let's take today, like every day. Maybe you woke up moody or disturbed, overwhelmed, confused. And, um, or physically aching can you say that physically aching, pain and uh, you now you can test it take a short moment of allowing all the descriptions all the stories everything that comes up for you to be exactly as it is without it needing to change because for me for example i immediately wanted to change something that was not so comfortable for me whether it's um, uh, discomfort, <laughs> but basically like jealousy, anger, moods, moods, waking up moody and thinking that it will be with me the whole day. I woke up very moody and that's why I'm like that. It affects the way I speak with people, it affects the way I'm with my husband, it's a f it affects the way I'm just buying water and then I'm just not nice to the person or, you know, it's just like because I'm moody, I'm I can allow myself to be moody. That's kind of a way of my way of being before I met this amazing teaching. So for me, to be introduced to open intelligence was such a relief. Firstly, to know that I have a choice. I have a choice for the way I use my mind. 
I can emphasize all these stories and descriptions over and over again, thinking that I'm this and that, thinking that I'm a negative person, thinking that I'm a positive person. Or I can allow everything to be as it is and take responsibility for everything that comes up. But I will explain more. So a short moment, in a short moment, we, whenever we remember, OK, so it's not like an effort. You have to take a short moment. If not, your life will be bad. It's a, it's a spontaneous short moment. So suddenly you have a negative thought, because that's where we feel that we usually want to change it. And then instead, you um, take a short moment and rely on your open intelli uh, intelligence. You relax body and mind completely. Relaxing body and mind for short moments. It doesn't mean that you not, don't need to move or close your ha eyes or you know, wear something specific or say something specific or think something specific. You just rest naturally as you are with everything that comes up. Before, the habit was to indulge in the data, like you had from from Toby indulging in the data, why I'm feeling like that, why I'm feeling moody, why do I have these thoughts, and feeling like a victim to all of that. And that was one technique I used, just indulging and trying to find a reason for that, speaking with my friends about it, looking for someone who can understand me, finding someone who can understand me, but still don't find relief in that understanding. So that can be, it may be a temporary relief, like the understanding, but then it comes up again, the confusion, the moods, the ups and downs, and then indulging in my thoughts and feelings. Another technique is replacing, trying to replace my thoughts to something positive, thinking that by doing so, I will feel positive. So, and and that, that's the way I live my life replacing my thoughts to positive, cultivating experiences, like positive experiences to feel good, to be a good person. It's not bad, but it wasn't so completely a, a thing in the midst of irritation, for example. How can that be changed to positive? I tried to think something positive about that person who irritates me, to look at the positive side, um, to feel compassion even though I didn't feel it. So everything I tried to do was great, but not completely bring a permanent well-being. And then the last technique I used is also avoiding. Avoiding situations, avoiding conversations. <laughs> if it's about me, conversation about me, you know, like with your parents or friends, uh, things that you don't feel feel like you want to speak about or don't feel comfortable with, or avoiding uh, people that maybe I label them as having a bad energy. Do you know this one? Like there is a bad energy here, I don't want to go there. I will go to the other side of the road. And so that's avoiding by drinking, avoiding by eating, okay, avoiding by watching TV. So we look, you can look at yourself what you're doing and it, again, it's not, it's, it's okay. But then here we introduce uh, the fourth option, another way, another uh, a powerful way to really take it further and to be directly introduced to the nature of everything that comes up rather than always focusing on everything that comes up. So you see the difference? It's like we emphasize everything that comes up for us instead of not doing that instead of relaxing completely and letting it be as it is. You may think, and that's what I thought too, that by leaving everything as it is, nothing will change. <laughs> it will just be the same. I will have horrible thoughts all the time. My life will be, look miserable. I will still have that pain. But what surprisingly happening with training up open intelligence and taking upon you this practice and see for yourself that the opposite is coming about. A natural wisdom, a natural compassion, best of qualities of ac and activities, beneficial qualities and activities coming about within us. It's not something that's falling on us suddenly because we are pure. It's something that is innate to every human being. 
it comes naturally because we are not focusing any longer on the thoughts, emotions, sensations. We are completely open to letting it be as it is. And everything also will self-release. You know, like um, a line drawn in water or a flight path of a bird in the sky, and you will be able to see it instinctively in your experience now. Mood comes up in the morning by taking short moments of open intelligence. The mood comes up and you let it be as it is instead of running off into the stories, you relax again, and then you may again describe everything, but then again, recognize open intelligence, relax for a moment, rest naturally. What you come to see is this, these short moments, they become, become longer and longer, like you don't want anymore to indulge, <laughs> avoid and replace. You, you want to really empower yourself to rest the mind with open intelligence and that becomes so powerful like it's really exciting you for me I was just waiting for something to come up and to see what what usually I do and what now I want to do so it empowers that choice so coming here to the open meetings it's a it's a perfect step uh, we usually recommend also just coming to the meetings and even if you have some kind of conclusion about this meeting, what we're doing, what is the practice, if you know it already, fine. But keep coming back and then see for yourself how this instinctive recognition is just coming about in a very effortless way, just by being open to it. And um, we also have so it's, it doesn't stop in a short moment. Short moments are trained up also by the teachings that we have. We have written texts from, from Candice and these texts are so, so amazing because they evoke this instinctive recognition like some of you shared this morning. Like you think something but your experience is totally different and that gives you the motivation to continue in practice because you see something that is not um, uh, dependent on what you're thinking and feeling all the time. That's such a freedom. Like imagine you can be just all day so negative but your actions will not be affected. Your relationships with family and friends will be harmonized more and more. So the trainings are so important to elicit this instinctive recognition. If you are open for that, I would just say go for it, <laughs> you know, just go for it. Today we are also starting an introductory training and the first day is open for you to test it if you, if you like to do that. And then like you had, some people shared about the 12 empowerments and that's a training that we also offer all over the world. So Balance View, now we have a center in Goa, we have a center in Sweden. We have um, uh, many communities all over the world in England, Australia, Israel, and many others. <laughs> but people are trained up with this education in the nature of mind. You can go to the website, you can listen to shares, you can download talks for free. Am I saying the announcements now? <laughs> but you can really uh, see what the generous support offer something that is entirely beneficial, like there is a way for people to be of benefit, to live a life of complete benefit. And the 12 empowerments is like, it's the foundation training of Balance View. So what it, it's like, uh, we call it the life changing <laughs> training. And it's, it is like that. When I did the empowerments, I suddenly saw all the dynamics of the ways I was relating to people. And I didn't like see them as bad, you know, something that was not good and now I need to change. But what I came to see is, I bless you, is that all of that is inseparable from open intelligence. And with this recognition, I received all the tools to really make direct changes in my life. If it's uh, in relationship with my family, my friends, my intimate partner, myself, Looking, looking at all these ideas I collected over the years and together with the group and with the support going step by step and giving up the right to be a victim of all this data. And if it's something that you're available for and you're here for some time, 
I would just go for it, you know, like never give up on this opportunity. It's so, it's so powerful.